What is up, YouTube? I got you in case you missed the live stream yesterday. I mean, if you if you don't want to watch the full hour, which I recommend not doing, to be honest, that live stream was, well, I'll give my opinion on it. Now, I will say, not talking about the live stream for a second, the chat was the best of any gotcha dev stream or live stream of all time, except for one really not so good thing, which was people spamming the N-word in multiple languages because there were no mods. So that was not funny, but there's a lot of funny ass spams in the chat. And so the chat was absolutely hysterical, except for the spam, except for the slurs, saying shit like, hail Tectone, I hate Tectone, I want to see Laro oiled up, I want to see Hex oiled up. I mean, to be fair, that was pretty much me and Hex, but it was really fun. And the hype leading up to the live stream was pretty much the only good part. I I'm going to release, uh, I I after this, I'll probably release the, uh, the two the two hour section of like me and hex just fucking with the chat and our reaction to the live stream but the uh, going on to the about the live stream itself the actual gameplay that the that the live stream showed was essentially non-existent there was pretty much no gameplay save for one mini game and some running i believe i believe there was some running but that's pretty much it. There was very, very little gameplay. And most, like 90% of it was legit just, to be honest, I hate using the word, but it was pretty much just yapping and mini games. And it was like, okay, so what's going on here? And it really wasn't all that insane. The 10% that had gameplay was fun. And when they talked about cool new shit, it was cool. But that was only like, what, 10%? That was like 10% of what was going on. So it wasn't really that insane. It, it, it was ass. It was ass. But the mini game, there was two mini games that were fun. And then no, there's just no gameplay. Here are essentially all the confirmed rewards that we got from the live stream. 84 Luster Tides, 14 Radiant Tides, 1800 Asteroids, which as far as I can tell are Stellar Jades. Plus five star weapon of your choice. Four star weapon of your choice. Bro, that's insane. I, I didn't even notice that. I was, to be honest, Kind of yapping a lot during the live stream. But the five star weapon your choice is insane. So all this shit being, I, I, to be honest, we already talked about all this, but we knew most of this stuff was coming from my previous video and from Shinya's tweet. There's all these, these, these are the five stars we choose from. These are all the rewards we get. Yep, yep, all, all typical stuff. Sanhua got you so fine. We get so many pulls. 84, 84 Lustrous Tides is wild. Right here is just 96 pulls alone. Well, 100, oh my God, 108, it's literally 108 pulls. God have mercy on my soul. This guy I don't give a fuck about. This fun. I mean, shit. These are all the rewards for the most part. Freaking insane. But there is also, if I can get uh, this character. Who, I don't know who this is, but they gave me really mad sparkle vibes. So I have no idea who this is. But she's got the crazy eyes. She's doing the crazy, the crazy tongue thing. And does her doing this mean she's lesbian coded? I don't know. Who knows? I guess we'll find out when the community decides to headcanon her. But I mean, shit, bro. Who knows? <laughs> oh. Now I, I have no idea who this is. But this was probably one of the biggest things in the whole thing, in the whole live stream, was uh, that character. And as far as I can tell, they pretty much. As far as I can tell, now correct me on this, but I believe they killed re-rolling for the most part because it'll take so long to get the pulls like from logins and shit. So I, as far as I can tell, I think re-rolling is going to be a lot more difficult than it normally is in other games, which I mean, me personally, I never re-roll because it's like it kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, you're supposed to gamble and you know, if there's no stakes, What's the point? That's why I don't like whaling. And also I'm giga broke, so it's not like I can whale, but like if I could whale, I wouldn't. Unless I really like the character, at which point I would, but I I'm sidetracking. All of, we all get two five stars guaranteed very early on in the game. And one of them we can choose. So there's really not a, even a need to reroll unless you're looking for an absolutely smack dab perfect team, but like it ain't gonna matter that much. It's, and speaking of characters we want, Yin Lin's art for her banner. This art right here, holy shit, bro! This is what her event banner. This is what her event banner is gonna look like. 
And she's got Tao Chi on the right up. And Alto. Alto, I don't really give a fuck about. Blue hair guy, I don't really give too much of a fuck about. But Tao Chi has gigantic tits. And Yin Lin is looking giga hot. And my overall opinions on the live stream, uh, I'm pretty sure, as you can tell, you know, it was ass. It was really not good. Uh, I would recommend... Uh, you, you can watch it if you'd like to see it for yourself. But I would recommend probably not watching it. Because that shit is just an hour of... I mean, unless you... I, unless you just want to see it for fun. Because it was like... Me personally, I found it very boring. But if you like little mini games and you want to see Rexilin and Havian and all the other cool little... All the other people who are on there, like Yang Yang's voice actress and someone cosplaying Yang Yang. Like, it, 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 that's cool. But just the actual content of the live stream was very not there. So those are my thoughts on the uh, live stream. Pretty much condensed. I can't think of anything too, too crazy else that happened. And something else I noticed during the live stream too was when we got to the boring parts. And this is why I wouldn't even say it's opinion at this point that the live stream is bad. I would say it is objective fact that it, it did not accomplish the goal of what a live stream should do. Which is show off a product. If I'm here... Say I do a live stream, and I'm here to sell you my oiled up butt cheeks on a platter. Why would I? Why would I show myself playing Hell Divers 2? Well, it's actually really fun. But I, why would I show myself playing Hell Divers 2 when the when the live stream is supposed to be, be about my oiled up butt cheeks? I don't know what this tangent is, but the point is, <laughs> the point is, yeah, it's it's it wasn't about the what it should have been about at all. And sure, you could say it was dumb fun. For, for 55 minutes out of an hour? It's a lot of dumb fun. It's a lot, a lot of dumb fun. So at that point, when it's 95% dumb fun and 5% what a live stream should be about, live stream's kind of not doing its goal, which is provide content, bring new people into the space. Because there was what? There was what, 50,000 people watching the live stream at one point? Just on the live stream alone, which I, I would estimate probably like, what, 120,000? 140,000 maybe, 150,000 even. People watching across all platforms, across all media. It's a lot of eyes to be on your game. And when we got to the board parts of the live stream, I noticed at least 20%, if not like 10, if not 20% people left the left the whole live stream altogether on the YouTube at least. I don't know if that, if that was across all platforms. But for the YouTube stream at least, it would drop sometimes 20% in some really bad parts. So... I would say objectively the live stream did not do its goal and I wouldn't even say that's up for debate. Me personally, I would say that is like objective fact because the live stream didn't do the goal of the live stream and that's pretty much it. And talk about the Chinese live stream real quick. Oh, I, I saw a lot of people in our community say the Chinese one was a lot better than the English one, which I can't speak for the content of the Chinese one because I can't speak Chinese, <clears throat> but the overall presentation of it seemed a lot more interactive and a lot more i mean it, it just captured attention a lot more than the english one from what i could tell and if i can just you know show if mr pokey was watching i couldn't find clips of this i i looked i couldn't find this bit anywhere else i even looked at the, i looked for through the official weathering wave stream for a little bit and i couldn't find it this, this would keep my attention for hours right here Th this would keep my attention for hours I, just a little chibi, chibi Yin Lin, chibi Jian, chibi Yang Yang, chibi Sanhua, all great. And all having their own little dialogue, great. I think it's the cutest thing ever. I think this is the cutest thing ever. Like this sort of presentation looks very good, and the chat seems to like it a lot. Uh. I personally probably would have enjoyed it a little more if it just it was just the chibis. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of overall community sort of agreement that the Chinese live stream was a lot better. And uh, yeah, I mean I, that if something's better, that means the English one can always improve. So that's pretty much all I want to say about that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Love you.